Okay, in this video, what we're going to do is have a look at what we need to do on the coding side to get the uh, the vehicle land walker up and running. Now, as you can see here, I've already got my code files all ready to show you. And obviously, starting off, what you really need is to have your project already set up. Now, I use DavCorp, because that's me. Well, okay, I'm GeoDav, but GeoDav works for DavCorp. Yeah, okay. Now, please ignore these other stuff, because that's me playing around. So, I'll, I've got all my stuff in here, using the naming conventions that I've learned over the years. You name it how you want. I find using the UT game naming convention works well for me and keeps my stuff organized which is a lot better than what I would normally do <laughs> okay so that's your your programming setup which you need so what we got we got a vehicle factory with the skeletal mesh the translation the collision cylinder and the vehicle class path Okay, now I mentioned in the uh, Anim Tree video that I was having problems when putting the factory in and the feet were sinking down. I played around with all these values and I didn't seem to get anywhere until I realised with the uh, the max translation bit. So just leave these at the default values and you should be okay. Now for a gun. Each vehicle does need a gun in some some way or form because that's the way the UT vehicle code is set up. Now whether you have a gun or a camera or lots of guns, that's up to you, obviously. But here we've got a very simple, uh, I believe it's a direct copy of the, the, Manta, the Manta gun, more than likely knowing me. Okay, so that's very similar. Not forgetting to change your, your fire tags, your vehicle class. Okay, and that's about all we need to do on that. So we won't go into the content at the moment. As you can see, you might recognize this stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. What you're going to notice here when you have a look at these code files is... Let's just get this to the top. There we go. Hang on. There's nothing different there apart from the name at the top. That's right. Because Geo's Landwalker is actually based on the Manta code. Now, if you've got a programmer who's knows code, then you'll probably be able to do a damn sight better than what I do. But I have to, I'm using the Manta code purely because when we go down here we get the begin object in the default properties. Yep, default properties. The UDK vehicle sim hover. Now you might think, well, why is he using that? Uh, it's very simple because I actually looked on how they done it with the UT3. Now, uh, if you played UT3, you'll remember the uh, the Necris Dark, wa Dark Walker vehicle, the thing with the big three legs that bimbles around and wastes you because it's a bit overpowered, I think. Well, as you can see, well, be ragdoll driver on Dark Walker horn, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you fly under it, you get zapped. Anyway, <laughs> uh, if you look at that code, you'll find that the Dark Walker is actually based off a vehicle sim hover, a sim object. If you don't believe me, go grab the code from, uh, the, I think it's the 1.5 patch update. Uh, have a look in there for, for UT3 and you'll find it. So what have I done? Well, anywhere I've left... I chucked all that out because, well, I didn't chuck it out. I edited it out. 
okay because that's doing a lot of stuff with the right click the alt fire which I didn't want at the time so because that's to do with ducking and bouncing and jumping that that's the way I code by the way well I don't code I just copy paste and cut out the bits and if it still works I'm happy <coughs> so what did I do to get this to work well every time I made any changes I made sure I kept the original value somewhere okay so all I do is, is the double blacks backslash put the chip the originals in there and go for it so you, you still got your full wheel suspension and travel okay mine's now at 140 it's probably because I, I didn't type right your bone offset Z adjust try playing with that no suspension speed no air speed uh, let me just double check here I think I did change that yes we did so the, re the reason why I changed that because you don't want your walker to be running around at the speed the Manta does so all I done was change this all down to 250 that's the speed that works quite well with my animations so you don't get your feet slipping along the ground and you need to make sure you've got this set below the uh, the value that's in the is it blend by speed I think it is to keep you in sort of like the first level yeah so you can carry a flag no be follow look direction no well actually that should be true can turn in place no because the way my model's done <coughs> excuse me for coughing a lot I seem to have a bad throat at the moment but uh, scripted rise yes B can straff set that to false we don't want it move moving directly to the left or right that's what we call strafing now we don't want that because that'll make it look really really silly okay so I should have entered these on but uh, as you can see just compare it to the Manta code just to be on the safe side uh, here's the important ones or what I found to be important wheel suspension stiffness now it's set at 20 for the normal Manta let me show you all right the higher the value the harder it is the, the stiffer it is okay so I think if I remember, because I looked this up on the on the wiki, and I believe 200 is the highest value, so that makes it really really stiff. And wheel suspension damping, I've sent that to 75, which is the highest value again. So <coughs> you can play around with these other values if you want. As you can see, I've not changed a lot of them. And then, of course, you've got your, your wheel, hover wheels. Yep. Now, I've adjusted these to be more in line with my mesh. Yeah. So, uh, it's not too far forward. It's not too far back. Not too far out to the side. So, oh, my throat's getting bad at the moment. <coughs> so you should be okay there B attached driver B driver is visible B homing target Ooh, you never know you might you might want to change that anyway all right that's pretty much oh the bone name uh, I've connected this to the walkie base yeah that's the one that's more if I remember rightly off the top of my head in the actual body so that's where it's taking the adjustments from if you know what I mean right so what else do we want to do let's have a look at <coughs> oh gosh truth all right the content now what have I removed from there initialize effects 
Uh, these effects are purely for the fan, the fans at the side of uh, the manta. So instead of editing, obviously I've just ch cut this out. Jump effects, duck effects, parameters, you know, vehicle on fire, blah, 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 blah. Yep, okay. Now, if you want these effects to stay in there, then leave it. So, what we got? Okay. Right, collision cylinder, exactly the same. Uh, yeah, st S vehicle mesh array. Well, what have I done here? I've actually added the anim set. Yeah? So that gets called in game. Now, I've edited out the morph sets because obviously I haven't done any morph targets at this moment in time for this vehicle. And to be honest, I'm not planning to. But obviously, that's where you'd put it in, the same as any of the other vehicles. And we've got the uh, the gun class with the gun socket, with the turret controls, the view socket, and the weapon effects. It's all standard vehicle coding stuff. Uh, editing things out so it don't get. 10,000 logs saying, oh, I can't find this, I can't find that. Okay, and obviously put in your, uh, your sockets for your fire effects. You might wonder why here I've got an extra socket because I was doing a little bit something else. Now, th this is the sort of stuff you can get rid of as well. The fan effects, ground effect indices, uh, fl flame jet effect parameter name and this sort of stuff because you haven't got it I've left it in just to so, so you can see I am using the manta code okay so you want your team materials in there your, your spawn materials uh, your, dr your physics materials for driving walking don't forget I've, instead of using the manta ones for this I've used copies of the scorpion I'll repeat that. Okay, and let me just make sure in the seat class, well, the seat subclass, I suppose you could call it, I've got B seat visible. Yeah, now it's not on here, but it's on. Uh, where did I find it? I didn't. Alright, uh, there is in. Let me just see if I can dig this out from somewhere. Do, 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 do. I don't honestly believe. Let me just have a look at the buggy. Buggy, buggy, buggy. Tank, no, buggy. Uh, no, that's the factory. You're not going to see anything on that, are you? Do, 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 do. Now, what I'm actually looking for is the anim. You actually set. It's not showing you because I've had people ask me this before. Okay, and okay. Let let me very very quickly. Uh, now, if I remember rightly, vehicle, UT vehicle. There we go. Right. Uh, Let's just oh, from the top. Let's go driver. Okay, and go find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really clever. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I want to go down quite a bit into the default properties. I should have went down there first, shouldn't I? And then said from cursor. What a wally. Oh dear. I'll tell you what. Let's have a quick look. There we go. Driver anim. Okay, so you set. Let's go into the. You set B seat visible to true. And then you add. The anim, where was it? Hang on a minute, hang on, I've got the right one. 
Uh, there we go. The driving anim equals Manta idle set sitting. Now, obviously, you can change that if you've got other anim sets in your uh, well, not so much your pawn, your character anims. That's what I do. I'll, I'll show you on a different video later, but not not in this set. But this is where you can pick that up. So you can actually have your you, the pilot of your vehicle or your driver in different positions not just the one that comes from the Manta because that's the, the default p p position if you get what I mean so all you have to do then is recompile add your factory to your map and off you go now I know it's I keep, I keep telling you it's not this tutorial set is not really for beginners you really know have to know about how to do basic vehicles and a lot of other stuff before you actually start this let's get that out of the way because I don't like it but it's a run the tutorial is really just a run through on the things that you need to the extra bits and pieces you need to do to get a walking vehicle up and running Okay, it might only be like a Star Wars ST8, well, ATST, I think it is, but it should be enough to give you a start and have a look at what to do. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that. If you've got any problems, please PM me directly or email me directly, and we'll see what we can sort out. Because, as you know, I'm one of the, let's say, the few people that actually constantly supports the tutorials that I make and I try to help everybody out as best as I can. Okay, so we'll leave it at that and I'll see you soon.